Salvage frigate modules have been made a little harder to obtain since the Outlaws update hit No Man's Sky, but they are still very possible to get. It will even flow very nicely with your general freighter upgrading efforts. I'll be showing you every possible location you can obtain these as well as the best ways to farm them. So let's go. Now, I've proven myself just the touch of a masochist and essentially manually collected all of the loot tables that contain the frigate salvage frigate modules. So uh, we're going to go through them, but really quickly, don't worry, I'm not going to linger on unimportant details because we could spend hours on these if we wanted to be annoying. So our first loot table is called R Abandoned Crate. This, these are actually the blue, the big blue crates you find on derelict freighters. Uh, these can contain a number of things, as you can see on screen now. But if we focus on the frigate token itself, which is frig token, is the ID, it's salvage frigate module in game, of course. Um, these can drop a minimum of one, a maximum of one, with a chance of five. Which, when you actually compare that to the rest of the loot in that table, that's 2.5% which means you're going to get one of these once every 40 blue crates. Now, this is actually one of the more important tables. We will be coming back to this because this is actually a really good method to get them, but uh, it, it's a bit more detailed, so we'll go quickly through the other tables first. The next table is called Smuggle Loot, and these, I'm pretty damn certain, are the freighter pods in Outlaw Systems. So when you see system freighters just hanging about in space and you can attack the cargo pods connected to those freighters, this is the table for what's in those. So you can find loads of stuff like the frigate fuel, uh, magnetized ferrite and blah blah. You can also now find the illegal products in the band system ones, uh, which will, yeah, which are worth quite a bit. It's actually a really nice change uh, to these and they're worth a lot more to attack now, except of course, they're nowhere near as good as they were for getting salvage frigate modules. They used to be the best way. Uh, not specifically outlaw systems, but you know, system freighters. Unfortunately, the drop rate now, well, the chance of a salvage trigger module being in one of those pods is now 1.3%, um, or at least that's how I can tell from these tables, uh, which is extremely low. So you used to be able to find like four or five in a big fleet. Now you'll be lucky to find one. So this is not a good method of getting them now. You'll find them like one every... You'll find them like one every 80 or something pods that you see, which is crazy. So that's unfortunately no longer a good way to get specifically those. But it is a good way just to get farm some uh, some modules and units and stuff of other things. Now this next one is the same. It's uh, freighter loot but for regulated systems. And this has the same 1.3% drop rate for frigate tokens. Unfortunately, the only real difference uh, between these two is just that the... Regulated systems has have normal um, trade goods that can drop from it, and the outlaw systems have the the illegal trade goods. Uh, so those are the only difference really, which does make the illegal trade goods uh, those are generally worth more. So the pirate systems, the outlaw systems, are actually I think the best ones to get uh, to be attacking freighters in if you want to gain some cash. The next two tables are regarding crashed freighters. So, crash freighters, the cargo pods that you find underground and on the surface, there, there are two different loot tables for those. I don't specifically know what causes which cargo pod to have which loot table. I think it might be when you go to a crashed freighter, specific cargo pods will be the one loot table and the others will be the other. And I think that is static at every single one. So you'll have like maybe two out of the six or so that are there will be the uh, crash cont S and then the others will be crash cont M which I believe is small and medium I don't believe it because I used to think it was a uh, rarity thing because I believe S used to have better odds for certain items but uh, it does seem like small and medium now that being said medium does have the best drop rate for the uh, salvage trigger modules at 4.7 percent so every one in 20 of these ones you're likely to find a salvage frigate module now the great thing about these about the crash freighter pods is that i'm pretty damn certain that if you find one that drops that you can mark it and anyone else can go to that exact same one and loot the same thing because most loot in the game is based on location the location is used in place of say random number generation to decide what loot is where which allows us to essentially mark loot. We know this for sure with stuff like buried caches and such. If you find an S-class in a buried cache, you can tell someone where that is. They can go and get the same X-class that you got from it. 
Um, so essentially we could do that with the crash freighter cargo pods. It could be worth it to have a singular planet that we all search for them on and then we just find one each and mark it the com ball and people can just basically fly to each one, dig it up and get a, get a planet's worth. So yeah, that's uh, certainly a possibility, but it is like 1 in 20, that's still like more than 5 crash freighters to maybe get one. The last thing is mission boards. So missions can actually reward these, and uh, salvage frigate modules are possible from about 5 different mission board loot tables. In regular systems you'll find 4 different loot tables that uh, are available. These are low level, medium level, high level and mega. So these are based on, when you go to a mission board you'll see the actual level for the mission. So the higher the level, the higher, loot, the, higher the loot table it can pull from for its reward. And uh, essentially the frig module is available in all of these but it's very low drop rate. Or very low chance of being the reward for the mission. So if you look at the low one it's 1.1% um, chance of it being the reward. If you look at the medium one, it's a 1.1% uh, in that as well. If you go to the high level, it's even less. It's gone to now 0.9%. And if you go to the mega, I believe it's the same in the mega. It's 0.9% uh, yes in the mega. Now, this does make sense that it lowers as the level goes higher because the more established your save is, chances are you've already sorted your freighter at that point. But yeah, it's uh, still very low regardless. But it could be worth checking, because the missions are worth checking anyway, to grab any passive missions like killing sentinels, because you can complete as many as you want of those at the same time. So it's always good to pick them up and you'll, you'll just generally complete them as you play normally. Now the Nexus mission boards also have a possibility of these being a reward. It's in the Nexus medium uh, mission board. So the Nexus also, I believe, has four. So the low, medium, high and mega. Um, and for this one, uh, the Nexus ones are usually have better rewards than the normal standard ones. But of course with Nexus you can only take one at a time. Uh, whereas normal regulated station missions you can pick up as many as you want, including all those passive ones which are great. I'm glad they didn't take those out of the game even though it was clear they wanted to move away from that. Uh, so then if we go to this one, uh, the South Frigate module has a 4% chance of being a reward in Nexus medium so uh, just the medium level, so even though it's 4%, which is pretty good, is still only the medium level. Now the last one that you can find these in is the missions on, in pirate systems. So outlaw systems, they have their own missions, and uh, these are similar to the Nexus, can only be done one at a time. You have to take it, and then you can go and do it, come back, claim the reward. You can pick up one per system. I don't believe you have to do all at once, although I haven't actually tested much with it yet. But they might be very system specific, so uh, just bear that in mind. For that, the frigate modules have a 2.2% chance of being a reward in about half of the pirate missions. So really, it's like a 1.1% chance of it being a reward. The other loot table for pirate systems missions is just nanites and units. This is the sort of product loot table, and this has a 2.2% chance of being in a product one. Now that means that it's not too consistent or predictable to be able to get them from missions but it could be worth checking them if you're checking the missions for anything else anyway so like if you need it and you see it grab it so if we break this all down all these loot tables there are four sort of separate things there's missions which is pretty inconsistent it's a if you see it grab it then there's crash freighters again it's almost like a, if you see it just do it for a bit of fun novelty i wouldn't farm them personally because they'll get very bored boring very quickly. Um, the drop rate is pretty decent but it's not like the most amazing thing ever. The last but one option is for farming the system freighters you find in systems but those have such a low drop rate. The chances of you finding a salvage frigate module in one of their pods is 1.3% so I wouldn't put so yeah I wouldn't farm them for that but if you're farming them to get loads of cash and you happen to get some then awesome. Now the best way, in my opinion, is from the big blue crates on derelict freighters. These will drop at a general rate of 1 in every 40 of, of those crates, and those crates also drop a bunch of other awesome stuff, including random build blueprints, which by the way, the drop rate for the salvage frigate module will go up once you have all those blueprints, because those blueprints have a 4% chance to drop themselves until you have them, at which point they will no longer be part of that loot table. So the 
drop chance of everything else on that loot table will go up slightly. Right, now that I hope I haven't bored you too much, let's actually quickly go to what I think is an amazing derelict to farm for these models. In fact, for anything I've just listed that's in that loot table. Because this one has 53 blue crates, which means that by the odds you should be getting a little more than one salvage frigate module per run. It's also a very quick run. This derelict freighter was presented to me by Stuart Young, um, and that was a long time ago. It was well over a year ago, maybe two years almost now at this point. Uh, I haven't been there for ages, so uh, this will also be a double check to make sure it still has an amazing drop rate of everything. But this place is amazing for loot. It has 24 flat cases, 53 blue crates, and 23 lockers. Now here we are at the station in the, of the system in question that has the friggin' sweet derelict freighter that has 53 blue crates among many other lootables. To get to this system you just need to go to the portal address on screen now and you'll be here. It's in Euclid Galaxy. It will be the same class module at the end in every other galaxy but it won't be the same layout. So you will want to go to the one in Euclid to get this awesome layout of just loads of crates. That we're going to get an emergency broadcast receiver before setting off. Now you can get a free weekly broadcast receiver which will essentially give you a derelict freighter. You can get that from Helios on the Anomaly but in order to get that free weekly one you do need to have seen a derelict freighter before. So to get your first one spend 5 million buying one from this fella. The first one is 5 million then the next one's 10 million then 20 million then 30 million. It caps at 30 and the cap will reset every day so you could do one per day for five million each or you could do what I did when this derelict freighter update originally came out and spend three billion getting a hundred and doing them all at once. Uh, right so anyway if you want to use the emergency broadcast receiver all you need to do is have it in your inventory make sure there is another space in the inventory if there isn't it will give an error so you can just move it to one that does um, depending on which one you want to go activate it and then just enter pulse and uh, when you've entered pulse give it a few seconds and it will pick one up and you can just go out of pulse let's go into it and there we go here's our derelict freighter now there are two types of freighter freighters that you'll see is when they pop up randomly the more common one is a freighter wreck that you cannot land on it's essentially the same as freighters, crash freighters that you find on planets, but in space. So you can't do anything with them, they just look kind of cool as some debris. Um, if it's a derelict freighter, you can work like this, then it will have a landing pad clearly visible. So if you can't easily clearly land on it, then it's not one you can. Uh, that, that was a big confusion with my original derelict freighter guide, where people were saying they couldn't land on it. But uh, that's because, yeah, it's not the right one. So, we'll just head through here. Uh, I, it's, I, to be honest, it's always worth picking these up. You get three repair kits, which is probably the main thing from these. Because repair kits can be used really well with your new exomech to be able to uh, repair the technology as it's being destroyed during use. Um, well, You can also collect the emergency supplies. I did not bother. Um, just because... I, to be honest, I usually would, but you know. Now one of the glories about this is that this is not a horrendous one that has the horrible aliens in it. So you will not be having to dodge pulse sacks. I, just, I dislike them so much. Uh, we will quickly go through these until we find one with the credential though, because they're always worth doing. Um, if I was only after salvage modules and I didn't care about many other things or I was tight on space, um, I would only access the blue crates because those are these ones are the only ones. Um, these, those ones, and these they they're a slightly different design, but we got both of them here. These have the same loot table. So either if you see either of these two, these are the only ones that can drop these salvage frigate modules. So those are the only ones to pay attention to if you're just after that. Um, but I may as well go for everything in this place. Uh, those hypnotic eyes, again, that's 190 uh, nanites on its own, getting those two. So yeah, I'm just going to loot everything. Box of glowing thistles, that's nice. I think that's a procedural loot. Uh, it could be a procedural biosample though, I'm not sure. In fact, I think it might be the biosample, yeah. 
Do, do, do. Like I said, there's a big difference between how fast you do it when you know and you don't know the layout. So you'll get, if you do this a number of times, uh, in my opinion it's still fun because it's fun to make it more efficient. Um, but the more the more you do this run, the better route you'll find to go around each room and so forth. So, have we no credential yet? Get these three. See, even just this one room, there's like 14 blue trays or something. Uh, always good to keep some stuff on you. I've got my freighter in the system, so I've got access to the dark side. Ooh, I'm getting memories of this place now. Man, I, it's just this big, so I've ran this freighter a lot during testing a long time ago, so having this uh, this sort of shelving unit there, that was very reminiscent. Um, so yeah, Ooh. don't want to blow those up when you're too close to it. Get these bad boys. Now, the loot tables do say one to three of, say, the larval cores and such, but I tend to find I get a static amount. Uh, this with the purple, the magenta with the zero there, that means this is a dead end. But there's often loot in these. Um, you'll be able to work out whether it's worth going into the individual ones the more times you do the freighter. So uh, there we go, perfect. We've got our credential. Excellent. Just get that briefcase and continue on. Do, do, do. And next room. Look forward to see what we get from this one. That's another thing I always enjoy. Just, wow, that's such terrible shooting. I always enjoy uh, seeing what we get from each uh, run. But there we go, procedural bone there. Remember there's like a 1% chance, I believe, at getting one of those. But there are like four different ones, so there's a 4% chance of getting a procedural item. Like that. In fact, it might be more, because I think there might be five in that loot table. Perfect. Right. Grab that. Reload while we're going. As long as you have a very small amount of, uh, very long as you have a very small amount of ammunition, you won't need to worry. You'll easily get more than you'll use in a derelict freighter. Also, I wouldn't, unless you're the worst shot in the world, of course. Um, you can do this freighter without shooting anything. You can. You only find these floaty dudes. Um, you can get through past those so easily. Now, for here, that is the way forward, but there is lots in this room to get first. So, let's go through all of these. Nice, got an S-Class Hyperdrive. Very swish. There. Also got the uh, first of the terminals here. What's this one? Crew Manifest. Nice, nice. Um, for any who don't know what how I'm going through this quickly without you hearing lots of clicking, I basically have a macro that repeats the left click motion because it was getting ridiculous. My uh, my mouse felt like it was I was just going to ruin my mouse constantly clicking and probably get carpal tunnel. So I just made a quick. Uh, macro for that. Definitely avoid those three. Three of them can do a fair bit of damage. Here's another side room. This one is worth coming into. As you can see, three briefcases and a big blue crate. The briefcases are pretty great. There we go. I think that's our first one, salvage frigate module. So we've got one so far. I wonder if we'll get two in this run. That would be cool. There's definitely potential for that. There's a lot more blue crates, as you can see. Now, you may wonder if, uh, because the loot is the same based on location, does that mean the loot is always the same from these? Unfortunately, that's not true, because the freighter that you find will always be in a different location, because it would be pretty much impossible to be able to perfectly angle your ship from the exact same position and then pull out of pulse at the exact same time every time uh, to spawn the derelict freighter in the exact same place which means that the loot will always be different which is cool generally as far as the game goes it's just not as cool if you're trying to min max every last part but yeah it's i like it anyway 
not much point activating all but the last teleporter, but I have, I tend to do that on reflex sometimes. And then it doesn't matter which of those that you click, the three things, this, we, only one of those will be available for the logins. Right, cool. It is worth getting those two things, because those two things alone are between one and a half and two thousand nanites from the tainted metal. Uh, that's our way through, but we've got to empty this place yet, and there is another side room. Did we get those? We did. So we'll get that. There's a side room here. I can't remember if this one is worth coming in. Oop. Uh, there's a briefcase. Uh, so no. So the first and third of these side rooms are not really worth it if you're only after the salvage modules. Only the second one is, which has one big blue crate. Let's get this from over here. Then these, lovely. Excellentro. Another crate. Uh, right, cool. So let's move on to... Uh, we're getting close to the end of this crater now. And right. Definitely recharge that. Pop through here. As you can see, another bunch of blue crates. Yes, this is such an amazing find by Stuart Young. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, another salvage friggin' module. Nice. So we're actually uh, we're actually on the slightly lucky side here. Um, instead of oh, hello, we got a nice legendary treasure. Sweet. Always get this one at the top here. It's easy to miss. So yeah, we've uh, oh, one in uh, 40, everyone in every 40 crates, although actually I do have the slightly higher chance because I do have all of the possible blueprints from that random blueprint, which itself is a 4% chance. So that 4% has been uh, put back into it. So would that be, I think then I have a 2.6% chance of getting a, uh, of getting one, or would it be slightly higher than that? I'm unsure, but basically, yeah. So I've been slightly lucky getting two in one. But uh, you'll probably find an average of maybe... You'll find like 1.3 or 1.4 of the modules on av like per, per derelict. As you can see here, even in the last room, there's blue crates. Uh, so yeah. I think there's some... Yeah, there's another one here that I haven't done. And yeah, that's it. So we've cleared the whole place. We'll get the technology module from here because I believe it is S-Class. This isn't in my notes, but I believe I was only trying this with S-Class ones. So if we check this, I believe it will also be a high... Oh no! Okay, so okay, that's worth noting then. So this, isn't, this doesn't give S-Class, but it does give... I'll let him destroy them while I'm in the menu. Just a note, if they hit you while you're in this menu, you won't take damage. Um, so yeah, so this only gives C class. So this one is worth doing when you're just getting bulkheads, or you can get the extra four to six hundred nanites at the end, uh, which I believe at least was random at one point. It may not be now, but you'll get between four and six hundred nanites if you choose a nanites option, which is basically the same as getting an S class module. So if you're after nanites and it's not a guaranteed S class, always get the nanites. And if you are after bulkheads, then you can get the bulkheads. Although you can get bulkheads in multiple other ways now. So uh, other than getting bulkheads more consistently and quickly, which you will want to get some from these for sure, that's probably the best place to get your salvage trigger module. So let's have a look. How much did we get? We got three. Wow. Like, yeah, that's really good. It makes me think that the chances... The way I'm calculating the drop rates might be slightly off, but this is also RNG. We're not going to get the exact average every single time. That's not how statistics work. So I got three this time. I might get one for the next three times. So that's likely how it will work. But from what I can see, it's about a 2.6%, maybe 2.7%. Once you've got the blueprints, chance of dropping a salvage trigger module per blue crate. And as there are 53 blue crates in this freighter, it's a good place to go. Um, actually, I've got lots of C-class modules, got an S-class, got some nice treasures. These lava cores, that's another 100 nanites. 
these five hypnotic eyes and probably no just the five yeah so i did get two and three of those and so that's good uh these are 95 nanites each tainted metal 624 because this is normal mode remember you'll get 200 and something on uh permadeath likely on average you know in comparison to this this uh this can be done to refine to nanites at one to two or you can use it to buy stuff um and yeah so this hyperdrive i don't need this so that's probably 500 nanites i'll get once traded in and these two will trade in for probably around 700 um tainted metal over both of them so roughly probably 750 so roughly 1500 nanites from these two as well basically these are very worth doing uh i love i love derelicts they're fun to do they're different and you get lots of different loot so yeah that's the video this is actually quite a lot longer than i expected it to be so sorry if that was annoying um i tried to go through all the loot tables quickly and go through all this but i've recorded this over a long time so i'm not sure how long it was and I spent like a day collecting all of the data that we went over first. So yeah, uh, would love a like and a comment if uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment whatever you want, anything. Always helps the uh, video to have more comments and likes and stuff. Super appreciated. More guides coming. Lots of Nemo Sky stuff. Even might be some uh, other games coming soon. So yeah, keep an eye out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you guys. Have a good one.